Hello YouTube and welcome to another Kerbal Engineering Duna Building Probe Duna Probe Building Special. Today we will be building the probe that we will be sending to Duna. And I'm hope that everything will be, you know, fine and dandy and that we will be able to build this wonderful vessel. So, stick around and let's do this. Uh, as always, this is a little bit of a speed build. Kerbal Engineering is the series where I typically build stuff for you guys it's slightly accelerated but still shows my building process and thinking process so the first was probe core uh, together with reaction wheels and uh, wheels and some uh and some fuel tank to get it there now note that this one is supposed to go on a return trip so we do need to consider the return as well but for the time being i'm just constructing you know the basic stack that should be um returning from Duna. So imagine this one with the Cheetah fuel engine. Oh, that would be just blast. 3.61 thrust to weight and 2835 meters per second delta V. And that's not too bad. Now, fly by Duna. That's the contract that we are building this thing for. All right, let us just consider briefly. I was thinking that maybe I could use the Oscar fuel tanks, but if I put the Oscar fuel tanks, then it would be like minuscule. No, let's stick to our original plan and we'll put the terriers in because they have a decent thrust to weight and much more significant Delta V. So rechargeable battery. Yes, please. Four of them to be more specific. And then we're gonna be putting, yeah, some solar panels. Four of them, to be precise. And I'm thinking better to put like one stack battery as opposed to four of those. No, we could actually put two big ones. Yeah, that would actually look nice because then I want to be putting high gain antenna. The purpose of these two antenna or of this one antenna is to ensure that we have a smooth communication with the KSC back so that's rather the point now isn't it oh I will want to put also the science stack and I do want to put the heat shield okay that means I'll have to move an antenna to the top electrical I could use this opportunity to put another battery or two perfect Alright, then we put another antenna, the small one, on top so that we have immediate communication range and that we have a communication range during the ascent because the small one is during the ascent, the middle one is technically not needed but I thought it would be cool. Then we put the Kerbal Engineer because I want telemetry, some science experiments that we will be performing around Duna and I think that would basically conclude our probe. I also want to put the parachute for recovery, obviously. Now, the RCS will be used to extend the solar panels because we don't have the groups 1 through 10. So, And then we can use the gear to extend the communitron. And uh, let's see, now we need to build a decoupler right underneath this stack. That's good. And that's the probe that would be returning from Duna back to Kerbin. So, let's call it EXP Duna Exploration Satellite. Perfect. Fix the staging, of course, because we have to. And then decoupler followed by, yes, a fairing. And I do have this fairing, which will beautifully encase everything at the slighter, stronger, you know. Okay, clamshell deploy on, trust structure, yes, 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 we have everything. Perfect. <clears throat> now, we want the body and we have the 1.875, which is the ideal body width for this. And then I want to be putting the cheetah fuel engine no hmm yeah 
I'm gonna be putting cheetah here because this would be the transfer stage. So this would be the stage that gets to Duna, per se. Perfect, then we put the decoupler and then we build the ascent stage that was supposed to get it all the way up to orbit. Right, so this is the full stack and I plan to use the mainsail at the bottom because that one will give me ultimately some, you know, oomph. I mean, it's thrust weight is not great, but it should do the trick. Yeah, let's put more advanced reaction controls. We have to rebuild the fairing though. Good. Sides, ejection force, all that stuff is done. I need decouplers and I need the radial decouplers. I'm thinking of putting two. And maybe put the like, you know, the same tanks to the side. Why not? One on the top, one on the bottom. Perfect, some sort of uh, nose cone. No, those are too big. No, those are too small. Um, adapters, guys, adapters, come on, talk to me. Not you. You, see? Easy peasy. Now, there we go. Almost looks like a Falcon X, except twistedly deviated and uh, utterly over engineered. No matter. Let's put these two engines. Yeah, I feel good about it. Now let's fix the staging. It's clearly over-engineered, <clears throat> but we don't care about that. I mean, I never care about over-engineering things. That's always a good thing, right? 10,000 Delta V in total. That should be more than enough to get to Duna and back. Let's put some, you know, winglets for stability during ascent and everything. Perfect. Save. <clears throat> now, let's see. Do I have the decouplers? I don't think so. Well, never mind. Save and I think we can test it. Oh, it's a long, it's a long rocket. Hmm. Oh, well, time to test it. Oh, this will be fun. Okay, I need struts. Obviously, I forgot struts. That's why these two side boosters were wobbling like wet noodles. All right. All right, let's launch. Three, two, one, let's go. Smooth takeoff. Looks rather well. Stability and the scent profile is okay, except that it's now, you know, doing the booga booga dance. Still within acceptable parameters. All right. Starting our gravity turn ever so slightly. We have a decent chunk of acceleration, so that's good. Okay, coming to the booster separation in three, two, one, and separate. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that didn't go entirely as planned. Fortunately, the staging seems to be a okay. Right, okay, testing this, continuing to test the staging, and uh, 
We have to abort and try again. I made the mi two minor modifications where I have replaced the uh, liquid engines with the uh, SRBs to the side. And I'm thinking that still we had plenty of Delta V. So this is the excerpt from the mission that we were actually, that I showed in the last week's episode. I wanted you to see how it reaches the orbit and to prove that this design. So the only thing that I did was to replace the side boosters with this solid rocket boosters. And that's it. As you can see, solid ascent profile. No problems on the ascent, rather good trajectory. Booster separation went rather swimmingly and we are go burning for the apoapsis of 100 kilometers. So as you can see, I mean, the fact that the rocket is a little bit elongated doesn't really matter that much. 96, 97, and 100. See? Easy peasy. Now we're supposed to just show you briefly the circularization burn to ensure that we have reached the orbit and after that I'm gonna be wrapping up for this episode because I mean the whole trip to Duna you saw what happened in the news episode from last time. Alright now let's just do a orbit circularization burn by the way guys do let me know i mean this engineering uh, series is more towards just building stuff in vab i will be building more stuff i know that some of you are very eager to eager to see the shuttle being built yes i will do the shuttle eventually i have to first figure out how how to build it because i used to build i'm used to building with mods and now i have to do it stock but uh, it's something that I look forward to and uh, let me know what are you looking forward to seeing me build and uh, what type of missions are you looking forward to. I don't know how much I will abide by the campaign. I'll try to do the contracts as much as possible, but I don't know. I'll see if I feel like too constricted, I might just, you know, dump it and go rogue. Anyway, we are coming towards the end of the episode, so as soon as we finish this burn, I'll ask you please like, subscribe, leave your comments below, what we want to see built, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, thank you very much for watching, this is Groundfork signing off.